monkey. Like the beat funky. Nickname Easy E, yo, Easy e Ball Junkie. What's up, everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video tonight. I'm actually closing out the second of three beers that I have picked up from 8 Ball Brewing. This one is actually going to be the Tarnished. So if you saw one of my other recent videos, I made mention of how 8-Ball is actually closing here on April 1st. Yes, it is April Fool's Day, but unfortunately, that's not a joke there. They'll be actually shutting down. Braxton Bruin will be taking over the location. But this is their Tarnish. Comes in at 6% ABV. This is actually a golden ale. This one actually comes in an ABV of 6%. Uh, it's considered to be the lightest beer they actually offer. And it's a, it's a golden ale, lightly dry hop with cascade hops to lend a sweet and floral aroma. They basically said this beer was good for any occasion. So why not for an occasion for their end of business? Now as I'm actually pouring this right now, I already smell some of the hops coming off from the aroma like I said it is dry hopped so it's gonna have a nice little kick there I didn't see anything on there talking about the uh, IBU so I'm not sure exactly what that is but you take a look at the beer nice golden color you get a lot of that uh, carbonation taking place uh, a little bit cold so it frosted up the top of the glass a little bit um, but you can see here I think some of the carbonation actually streaming very nice looking beer the head itself it came in less than a finger from the pour I had done, but it's pretty much a white colored head and uh, decent looking beer. You know, this is kind of like for someone that might be used to some of the macro type beers or starting to get into some of the craft beer. This is kind of a way they can actually do that with some of these golden ales. Get the nice presence of the hops coming right off. You do get that floral scent. You do get some of the pine. Definitely more hop forward than malt forward type beer. What I like to this one, what I like with this one versus some of the macro type ones, you don't have any of that really corniness that you would usually get. It's something similar from some of the uh, macros. But all in all, very decent smelling, nice taste, opens up very nicely. You get a nice blast of the flavor uh, from that first sip. You feel a little bit of that bitterness, but it has a nice, crisp, refreshing break on the back end. Not getting any bitterness really in the swallow as much. Goes down pretty easily. This is actually one you could kick back on a warm day as well. In the style of Golden Ales, they're kind of more of the refreshing type beers. You could use this type of beer like for a lawnmower type beer. Um, just when you want to kick back, relax. You've been doing some things. You need to put your feet up for a little bit. This beer can actually come in nice and handy along those lines. Does a good job of getting off the tongue, getting into the cheek area. You can feel the flavors kicking around. I'm getting a pretty good duration of the flavor taking place. Very nice overall as a nice quality beer. Again, 8-Ball had done some pretty good brews over the years. So this is one that's also considered to be one of their flagship. The one I'll do in the last of this series will actually be one of their specialized stouts. So I'm looking forward to that one. I think that one's called Home Alone. So make sure you check that video out as well. Refreshing type beer, great refreshing quality. You do pick up that nice dry hop in the taste as well. And I'll say I do get some of that nice little sweetness in there too that also pops a little bit, but not too overly sweet at all. But it's enough that actually brings your uh, taste buds alive there. But yeah, I'm gonna miss this little brewery as they go, but I'm gonna kick back tonight and drink um, some of this growler away. But thanks again for swinging by, check out another video. Again, if you're in the Cincinnati area, you can only pick these up like through April 1st. But if you're looking for a type of style that's a good beer for refresher type quality, you know, check out some of the golden ales that some of your brewers may be doing. Again, it's similar to some of the macro beers jumping over. They're a little more usually lighter in body, usually light to medium. Um, not all of them are at the 6%. You know, 8-Ball, that's just their minimum standard there. But uh, check it out. See if you like that style. But a great beer as we head into the warmer months. That all being said, thanks for swinging by. Check out another video. I look forward to catching you next time. Keep drinking good craft beers and cheers.